How's it going, boys? I have to say, at this point, I don't even honestly know where we are in life. But we're somewhere. We are definitely somewhere. And my only question is, how? How did we get here? Where did we go wrong? Clearly not in the haircut, though. Nef never gonna, absolutely never gonna admit that part. And the shirt. Again, no, no, not even a problem. But here we are, regardless of that. But anyway, today we're playing a mono black deck. That's right, in standard. That means that we are gonna be having a lot of Shreldreds. That's that's right, boys. It's time to bring it back. Oh yes, the Shreldred supremacy is returning. And I'm gonna make sure that it works out because we have everything a shreldred a shreldred a guy with a soft on his hands who reminds me of ezard scissor hands which kind of is not comforting in the slightest and things like liliana and the preacher of the schism who i still have not read or understood when when uh when an effect happens but that doesn't matter because he's literally broken and busted so that's why we're doing it a lot of removal here removal here removal and guess what virtual persistence also a removal and a little bit of that raccoony goodness for a little bit of that discard in which case well here it's exile which makes it better 24 lands to be specific, 3.4 average mana cost, and with that being said, without any further ado, let's just get a Kraken and see what happens. And bam! We're off to search for our first opponent. I almost I made that transition like there's an edit, but there's, there's no edit here, so kind of awkward, but again, there are... Clearly more awkward things in life happening than just that, and that is mainly the comment section. But participate while you can, because sooner or later, we're gonna go for full circle. In a completely non-gay way. In an evolutionary way. Oh yes. Anyways, we got our opponent, we got the ruthless negotiations, and we're gonna start off with that instantaneously. Because this is going to be information that doesn't matter on turn 1. Which means if you are someone who plays a Fable Passage turn 1 or a Crackland. And you don't open it until your opponent does something. That's really bad. Also, Grifor. Uh, yes, thank you for not being AFK. Uh, when the typical average uh, time to find a game is roughly somewhere between 10 and to, uh, 10 and 15 seconds, it's really bad. It's really bad that, that that people actually go AFK. The fact that people can't legitimately just wait three, 10 goddamn seconds, but they need to go away and start doing something else. It's kind of insane. Honestly, I really think that that's a huge problem in our society. He ditched the swamp. Very cool, said no one. He's using courtyards. That is that is very progressive, not gonna lie. Well, the good part here is... Ooh. Yeah, well, he's obviously gonna discard something, right? Okay, as long as we get the Shreldra down, we could win. Because we have ways to bypass a lot of things here. And... Well, there's actually literally no and here. It's just... Ooh, 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 ooh! Big plays! Big plays! And I must do the plus one here. Otherwise, I, f I will feel bad about my life choices. Okay. Ditching uh, Schism for Shreldred. This is typically not what you do. Oh! Ugh. But in... Wait. You legitimately got rid of this through Exile. And then you got rid of this through that. Do you have a... Third copy of Rite of the Moth in your hand? Because it kind of feels like that, you know what I'm saying? Kind of feels like that at this point. Don't know if I like that. Well, I don't like that. That's kind of the trick here. But in any case, as long as I get some value out right now, I think we are in a good position. Yeah, SA unironically actually had it, huh? Wow, he legitimately just kind of had it right there, ready to rumble, eh? Very cute, very cute. Okay, what does he exile now? Preacher of the Schism? Pretty decent. Ah, this is super awkward. 
What do I do here? If he attacks, I kind of need to block. No, I need to do this. I know it seems a little bit redundant, but I can't have too many mods just, you know, uh, being around here. Also, I can't really attack. Hmm. This is, this is, this is real sus right now, boys. He, do he doesn't have the perfect plays currently, but he does have an extremely strong play that I can't deal at the moment with. And he kind of just YOLO goes for the YOLO go. Very cool, very cool, said literally no one. Okay, okay, not good, not great, not the worst though. Not the worst by far. Exile that, now he has nothing in the graveyard worth mentioning, and I have a giant uh, moth to call my own. Very cool. Okay, he still has two cards in hand. Creature of the Schism is going to be pretty decent. I can actually deal with these moth things. So that's not bad. And he is taking a decent load of damage at this point. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, there's a reason not a lot of people play this, my dude. Even though, honestly, kind of burnt- Oh my lord, he actually attraxed. Bro, he attraxed on my face. Do you think he has- Dude, he's drawing a lane. He's- he, This guy is- Wizards is looking out for him because he probably bought the avatar, okay? Ah, the weakness of flesh. Too afraid to attack there? Sad. Okay. Okay, what do we do now? Well, technically not that bad. Technically also not that good. Okay. Nine. We're kind of far away from that one. Well, I guess Preacher of the Schism is literally, sadly, the best thing that I can do with this. Now, the good part... Well, Atraxa actually is a problem. If he plays Atraxa, if he gets a land, am I cooked? I have a feeling I could actually be cooked if he plays that Atraxa. If he gets the Atraxa off just, just like that... Whoa! The hell my- Yeah, he's definitely just dropping a land now without any hesitation. Sad. Real sad. But, maybe he can't deal with this. Oh! Yeah, he's definitely dropping a land. That was a fast decision also. Oh, he got the- Okay. How do I- How do I deal with this? There's very few cards that can, that can get rid of- Well, this is at least useful. But how much will this accomplish? They're playing kinda on knife Sedge because he has a def- He is way past the limit of drawing a lane. Exactly. Wait, the flashback cost is- How much mana? Six! Okay, okay, we still have a little bit of time left. But if he flips this, this is also a thing. Still hasn't flipped it. <laughs> okay. When will he be able... Will he even be able to flip it? He doesn't seem to have enchantments, but you know. Okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Now we're talking, boys. Okay. Now we're talking. This kind of works big time, okay? So, gonna do the sacrifice here, obviously, because what else? It's gonna get me a turn at the bare minimum. But he probably is gonna draw a land now also. Because again, he's way past one land draw, he got that one, and now he's past the second land draw also. So this is... Oh shit. Ah, that is annoying. I draw Virtue of Persistence though, at least we're kinda cooking in that case. But I need to draw a land in that case. And I'm not really too over my land draw ratio. Huh. Oh, he's gonna get- he's gonna get this. Oh my lord, that is just dumb. Oh, again with this. Well, we do have one turn. The tracks is gonna be real painful. What does he get? I mean, he didn't really get too much. It's slightly annoying, but he didn't really get that much stuff, per se. Oh wait, no, actually, he got literally everything. 
That's bad, that's bad. Uh, I need to, I need to play things, and yeah, I, I, I need virtue of persistence to do, do work. <laughs> oh boy, am I drawing the thing that, am I drawing something useless now, wizards? I, I should be drawing a land, it just statistically makes sense. Or two lands, even, honestly. One land, two land, okay, okay. There is a chance. It's not the highest one ever seen before in life, but there is. Now, the problem with this magical chance, by the way, is obviously the fact that... Wait, he actually has nothing in the graveyard? For, oh, no, he does have one this. But... I need to draw something that destroys a Troxa because he's just gonna play Liliana. Essay is just gonna play Lilian and mess up my uh, mess up my groove. But at this point, we also have a relatively high percent chance of drawing a rat, which could work wonders for us. Yeah, that could technically work wonders for us. Three HP, though, definitely not something I, I, I feel confident about at this point. If he plays Lilian just on a whim, though, that's good for us also. So maybe there are more chances than initially expected. But with 3 HP, I can't even allow the insect token to hit us. Which is bad. Bad things are bad. More news at later on. Okay, he just resurrected the thing. He actually just resurrected the thing. Oh boy. Okay, this is my best play, unironically. And my best play was to draw land. I'm assuming two more lands? No, not two more lands. Uh, one more land, but it was completely worthless. Okay. Damn it! We actually should have won this because we have more value here that's easier to achieve. Well, that was not even close. Wizards did what Wizards does best, and that is keep the black man down. Sad, but true, Wizards. Intern, you should actually stop, you know... Pump that luck stat up, because, you know, it is what it is. Also, Wizards Intern. I really loved when Magic the Gathering Arena had the bug when I log in. I can't log in. I need to, because it's stuck on searching for active matches, and I needed to log out, and then manually re-log re in. Otherwise, I, I couldn't play the game. And now, well, the bug was gone for roughly a week for me, and now we're back to, well, it being bugged again. Now it's a little bit better. Now I can just get to uh, log in and press the reconnect button because it always fails for some reason. But at least technically, it's better. Okay. If we're going to be playing against the same deck, I'm going to scream. Probably not. Judging by this hand, this must be red aggro. Wizards are not going to let me rank up in peace. They know. They know. They understand. Oh, by the way, also, I'm getting further along the Diablo uh, 4 campaign, and it's shit. <laughs> it's just so unbelievably bad on every level. Oh, my lord, it's just so stupid. It's just so bad. Oh. Did he sack land? No, he sacked Might of the Meek. Okay, so maybe I can shrill the Tzedek a little bit later on, which is kind of good. Oh, 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 he did a thing. Do I risk it all for no- Yeah, I obviously risk it all for nothing. You know how it is, boys, you know how it is. If I don't gamble this without reason, what am I at the end of the day? I am weakness. That's what I am. Weak and not worthy to play this game of pure unadulterated gambling. Oh, yes. And I will obviously not live a life of weakness. We are men. <clears throat> and you know what the weak men do? They fall in line. They are afraid to express their opinions. They are afraid to say the wrong thing. Also, this is really scary. Thank you. 10 out of 10. Suck, sucks to suck. Okay, buff it. Everyone knows you're gonna. Oh, he didn't? What the? Wah, 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 wah. Sure, I'll take this. If you really can't buff any of the slick show-offs, it is what it is. But remember, a sign of weakness is you being afraid of the consequences. Well, look at that. That's that's really sad and bad. 
Another one, please. Just, 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 just lay it on me. Wait, is he gonna sacrifice this one? This is such a... This is such a counterproductive play. Oh my sh... He honestly should just sag this one. Because this is... Right, I mean... For the future of whatever, I guess, I guess, I guess, yeah. Man, th this is why we can't have nice things. Oh my, this is why we can't have nice things. All of a sudden, it's ni nice things galore. Hamana, hamana. Okay, I kind of like this. Always thought to get this because it's actually a card. I don't want to deal with that garbage. <laughs> oh, that's it? That's that's your whole magical game plan? Do nothing? I like it. 10 out of 10. Okay. Okay. Drop the slasher, and then I'm definitely gonna use this. I need to find a Shreldred. I don't even actually need this Shreldred currently. Uh, this is good because it works from the graveyard. Okay. Uh, as good as it's gonna get. High on HP. High on testosterone. High on virtues of persistence. High on future endeavors. And, well, that's an unstoppable slasher. And killing him is not exactly kosher. Well, it kind of thick, I guess, but it doesn't really achieve a lot, so, you know, 10 out of 10. An annoying card, a really annoying card. I have lost games be because I forgot what it does. Which is normal for me, so don't really be that surprised, you know? Okay, oh, 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 we got it. We got it, boyos. Probably ditching the devious cover-up is better. Okay, we did it, boys. Here, a Shreldred. Beautiful. In all our glory. Okay, now we're cooking. Now we are definitely a cooking. I like it, I like it, I love it! Dealing some damage, getting some life, and our opponent surrenders. Nice. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. And you know what else is a 10 out of 10? Our new Patreon. That's right, boys. Everyone congratulate our boy, uh, Jur Jurgen Preat. Sounds very European, Jurgen. 10 out of 10. Almost didn't pronounce it right because I was expecting something American or Brazilian. But ha hail our European brother. The two euros, the 199. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. I appreciate it. But onward we go because... Magic players need to be put in their place. That's right. And we're gonna put them in their place by making fun of them for not finishing primary school. Aha! The ultimate jab. Okay, what is this? Uh, rat? Oh! Oh, uh, that's dumb. But anyway, uh, rat sleeves, uh, hippie goth chick. And not, it's it's a Zay Zem, obviously, well played, wizards. You gotta love modernism. Yay, a game truly made for modern audiences. That's why everyone with a brain has already left. 10 out of 10, by the way. Cat on purple? What is this? Sun's fall? That's annoying and frustrating. Yay, yeah, definitely a magic player. <laughs> Ah, Sunsfall is our last big problem, by the way, to make the world uh, into a better place. Okay, I guess I'm gonna drop the Slasher, because why not? I mean, it seems like value. And next turn- oh god, he's gonna Sunsfall me. Is this gonna turn into a value battle? Really feels like it, not gonna lie. Really kind of feels like it. Go for the throat needs to be sacked for the better men of mankind. Does that. Which means he's probably actually some... Oh! Okay, so here's the trick. If he summons a token, that's really bad for obvious reasons. If he doesn't summon a token, we're kind of cooking. We're kind of cooking. And he level 2's on open nothingness. That's kind of good. Well, that's not kind of good. That's amazing, in fact. Okay, drop uh, drop another one. Liliana does the plus ones. That's going to be the second Sunfall, I'm assuming. No, that was Elspeth's. Woohoo! And by the way, now... Ooh... Ooh, SA doesn't have a lot. Ooh, I like that. I... Okay. 
I do like that, that's for sure. So, this is free damage. This is free damage. Should, could, would. Actually, I should have cast the Belty, but then again, it doesn't matter. The superiority of being a man literally won the game. 10 out of 10, I like it. Oh, yes. Four wins away from ranking up? It's been forever since we were whatever rank the next rank is. Kind of digging it. Competitive magic player. Man, how sad is it the fact that I literally could not be bothered ever ranking up in this game again considering how shit it is. Every time you're close to ranking up, the games just turn to shit so fast. Oh, it just takes so much time for no reason whatsoever. But I guess it's fine. Pyrexia and Arena. Uh, I'm gonna assume Golgari this time. Because this definitely seems like a Golgari type of uh, gameplay hand. Pyrexia and Arena is too good to have in the opener hand with three lands without being severely punished. So yeah, it has to be Golgari or maybe Red. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my, that is, that is a lot of useless. Okay. Do I play the slasher? Good. Probably should. He's gonna counterspell the slasher if he can, because the slasher is really annoying to deal with them. So yeah, and at this point, he's gonna do something, or not. And oh, a second Liliana, this actually is amazing. Again, if I just need... When you're playing against this stuff... That's, by the way, that's a lot no more lies. Do you think he's a fabricator deck? A.K.A. artifacts? Recost artifacts? Hmm, not sure. But, let's do this. I need... So, by the way, I'm playing just my most not important cards one by one. Because if we get a Liliana out, he's probably not going to have a way to deal with it properly. But if we uh, if we get a Pyrexian Arena out, we pretty much win. Because the biggest weakness of... Oh, he didn't have removal for it? Ooh, that's awkward, buddy. That's really awkward there, buckaroo. Ed, what the f I'm confused. No, 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 don't. Okay, well, that kind of makes a lot of my stuff redundant now. 10 out of 10. <laughs> 10 out of 10 would make it redundant again. Okay. Well, yeah, I need to just drop the Lilian. I guess there's nothing else I can do, really. He's gonna counter her, though. Three steps ahead. In this situation, if he deals with... Oh my god, that was the play? That was the whole play. And uh, now, I just dropped the Pyrexian Arena. Oh boy, yeah, that was probably not a part of the plan. But then again, if he just does a get, uh, get lost, I am kind of screwed. Because then he probably is in a good position to win. But I would assume probably not. Blood Farm Verge, what a dumb name. Here, the Mist, uh, Mistmore Slump, uh, like a grieving parent. Oh, slump as in, you know, this. Not slump, uh, slump as in a slump. Okay, a uh, parent that once thriving fields drowned by relentless de de deluge. Okay, but I mean the lodge. Wait, how am I supposed to not say this? Uh the Luge. There we go. The Luge boys. It is what it is. Okay. Uh, that's pretty decent. Okay, let's install the fear of God into this uh clearly uh foody enjoyer. Okay, listen boys, I'm not gonna lie. If you have in the Johnny's avatar, hey, I'm not saying there's a problem. But clearly, there's a problem. Okay, so now I'm completely... Uh, oh yeah, he's gonna... What is this? Farsight, right? What, what is this? Bargain. Look at the top card of your library. If this spell was... Look at the top eight. Put two of them, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Doesn't, doesn't feel that impressive. 
Yep, got got a draw. Not really that impressive. Oh wow. Soul Guide Lantern. This guy is definitely special in all the wrong ways, huh? 14 HP. Uh Vicon. Ooh. Well, that kind of works. That definitely kind of works. Oh, Chase! Yo, you think he's gonna minus five me or he's gonna... That is so, so unbelievably random and dumb. Why would you do this? Why would you ever unironically do that? I don't even know. Wow. Okay. Uh, nowhere to run is probably not good at this point. Well, not probably, it's flat out not good. Okay, I'm dealing damage to him, and if he doesn't have a way to deal with the Shreldred next turn, he's, you know, kind of big cooked. Big cooked indeed. Okay, do this. I think he has three steps ahead. Or not. Okay. I mean, annoying? Much? But yeah. Oh, he is gonna create a Mitrex token. Okay, very cool. I'm gonna answer that with no word to run instantaneously. No point, to, uh, no point to not do it, because at some point... Yeah, I don't think he even has creatures, obviously. He could, though. He definitely kinda could. But it doesn't seem like the thing. Let's see if he counterspells this. Doesn't! Huh. The weak of... Okay, I like it, I like it. Resolve, map. Resolve! Uh, yeah, you're kind of good for the situation, honestly. Hey, maybe actually not that really good. I take it back, you suck. Okay, well, wh whatever. Good enough, good enough. A drawn-out situation, let's put the cat on purple. I need that luck. I need all of that uh, uh, luck stat. Uh-oh, that's, that's really bad. Wait, no, no, wait, no. Not necessarily bad for us. Not necessarily bad for us, because he is gonna damage himself. He can't really afford the sack. Well, he can't afford the sack, but, you know, kind of pointless. Wait, what? It's not tapped. That is disgusting. Completely. Completely unacceptable, in fact. Okay, now he can't do anything. 4 HP left? No. A lot of HP, fam. A lot of HP. Okay, he didn't draw anything. 2 HP. Is Shreldred gonna get the last laugh? Yes. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. Three wins. Three wins in V-Rank Cup. Hoo-hoo! Should probably finish off this with a, a fast elf deck play. Elf decks are ridiculous. Okay, it is what it is, boys. Elf decks are officially redonkulous. Honestly, I should uh, do elf decks with four ley lines of strength. Yeah, I think it's strength. I forgot what the uh, green ley line is called. I think it's strength. You know, it's not a ley line you use often. It's pretty. The ley line of strength is something you pretty much only use when you're uh, doing some simic meme decks. Admittedly, it's really good, you know? You get some Simic, uh, Simic with ley lines of strength into a Bonded Prodigy. Oh yeah, that, that stuff pumps mana like there's no tomorrow into a Nyx Blue Mansion. Yo, that is, that is good. Red? Grimpa. Oh no! It's clearly someone wizard favors because of a lack of help. Whoa, what the hell? Uh huh. No one play. <clears throat> Hello there. Interesting. Oh my. Uh, yeah, stuff's happening, that's for sure. Huh. What do I do now? I definitely ditch one virtue of persistence. Now, the problem is, an Enigma Jewel is honestly probably one of the most broken stocks. Okay, yeah. Okay, so this is your typical Enigma Jewel enthusiast build. Collector's Vault, free pop with the Enigma Jewel. Oh, I am definitely cooked. 
Because he's going to have Liliana, he's probably going to have a Jace on the dead. He's, he's probably going to have a lot of things, okay, boys? He's probably going to do a lot of things, and I can't deal with any of them. Yeah, because this is just Planeswalkers. Oh, he discarded the land. I guess he's going to play a 5-cost Planeswalker in that case. Hmm. Oh, what the hell is this? Header Tide. Aha! Uh -huh. No one cares the card. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Okay, do this. Get rid of that. Technically, he's at least not drawing cards. Oh my lord! What the hell? Breach the breach. Woohoo! Okay, what is gonna happen? Nobody knows. Uh, we're gonna get a 1 1 token and draw a card! Seriously? You ju you're just gonna cast it like that, huh? Also, did you just miss? Now you got a Jace in a truck, so that's definitely... But you missed completely on me, which is a 10 out of 10 wild ride. Okay, okay. Now the good part is, I can actually very easily do things here. And that is, create two piles. That shouldn't be that bad. Wait, no, it's still my turn, by the way. Maybe it is that bad. Oh, boy. Oh, huh, this is real bad. Am I dead? Am I just dead? Not inside, outside is what matters. Okay. Oh, Lord, he actually... Oh... Wait, the Pyrexian portal is unusable with this. Huh. Yeah, the Pyrexian portal is unusable. He got a little bit of an advantage, but honestly, he didn't, the SA didn't get a lot there, okay? You know what I'm saying, boys? You know, you know what I'm saying? He, he, the SA did not get a lot there. Ley lines of the void. That's, that's awkward for a deck that wants shit in the graveyard. Like, what the hell? <laughs> No, seriously, what the hell, wizards? How does that make sense? Okay, what is he doing here? Not much. Yay! I'm so confused. This is gonna be annoying. Well, a lot of things are annoying under the right circumstances. Okay, so we're clearly gonna do this. Because reasons. Okay, good, 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 good. That's, that's one of the things we want to see in our lives. Okay, very good. We, we, need, we need that dead. We, we need that truck uh, to uh, just just disappear, okay? Vamos, in fact. Fast, boys. Okay, Atraxa is down, but I can't really do anything. And he literally just reanimated her. How is this an instant? How is this an instant? How does this cost four? Why haven't I seen this before? And why did I miss? Excel target on land card in your graveyard that was put there in the- Oh, from anywhere this turn. It's shit. Wow. Okay, I got it. It's, it's literally shit. <laughs> Okay, my bad, my bad. It's it's actually a super bad card. That's why I haven't noticed it, and that's why no one's using it. Because it's a ridiculously bad card. And why is this guy using Collector's Vault? That's like the, the bigger question probably here. The Jace doesn't matter. The Lilian doesn't matter. He can't even actually combo the, uh, the Lotus thing. Did he... I guess, I guess we're dead, and he did fight. And he did hit the... Shreldred, so... Oh, he didn't even choose the Shreldred. Well, shit. Hey, what are you gonna do? Breach the multiverse again, my dude? This seems so uncalled for. Oh, no, I guess I'm just gonna die. Well, ah, uh, the most... The most random awkward thing I have ever seen in my life. Uh, 10 out of 10. Good game, my dude. Good game. Anyway, nice. This is Quizzer Sensei. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Bye!